Next up is his uh, men's singles and the two-time world championship medalist Anna's Antonsen from Denmark, the number three seed, up against uh, Kinta Nishimoto of Japan. Well, the men's singles draw very similar to the women's singles draw in that there were seven different nationalities by quarter-final stage, but there was only two seeds left in the last eight, and that was Chiu Tianqin, the number four seed, and the man we're about to watch, Anna's Antonsen, the number three seed. Uh, but four different nationalities at semi-final stage is always a good sign. Ninth consecutive Japan Open that we've had four in a single semi-finalist from four different nations. So here is Anna Zantonsen, his first World Tour semi-final of the year. In fact, prior to this, his last semi-final at World Tour level was about 18 months ago at the All England Championships. Here, his opponents, the unseeded Kenta Nishimoto. This encounter is a repeat of the first round match, the last 64 match in the World Championships a week ago. And it was Nishimoto that beat the Dane in Tokyo. So this will be a 10th meeting between these two players and of the previous nine. Nishimoto has only won two of them, but that all-important last encounter a little over a week ago in Tokyo. 21-15, 21-19 it was in the first round of the World Championships in an hour and one minute. So that confirms what I've just been telling you. Well, Nishimoto won the toss of the coin and chose to receive. And therefore, Anna's Antons and getting the choice of ends. And he started this near side of the court in his a match against Suniyama yesterday. I'm not sure I've got that right, actually. But certainly when he's chosen ends, and I called his match against Naro Oka, which was a second round match, he chose this near side. He's 25 years of age now. He's Anna Zantonsen, born in Aarhus, which is where we had the Thomas and Uber Cup finals last year. This is his first semi-final at the Japan Open when playing in his fifth consecutive event here. He is enjoying his 90th week in total at his career high of three. And in the first round here, he beat Tom and Junior Popov and then that match against Naraoka I was telling you about. Naraoka has been in three World Tour tournament finals this year. Needed to go the full distance, an hour and 32 minutes for that one. Quarter-final was a lot more straightforward against Kanta Suniyama. He recorded his sixth straight victory over Suniyama. Kanta Nishimoto uh, turned at 28 last month, but that's uh, a little misleading actually. It was last Tuesday, so four days ago. Born in Mia Prefecture on the southeast coast of the main island of Hongshu, that's where we are at the moment. 21 on the world rankings has been as high as nine, a total of eight weeks across three different spells. Now, look at that in contrast. All of his matches in three games. First round against the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Sen from India. Then the Asian Games gold medalist, Christy from Indonesia. Quarter final against Wudoyo. Coming from a game down in all three of his matches so far. 
Well, for Nishimoto, this is his first semi-final of the year. Uh, umpire from Malaysia, service judge from Norway. Nishimoto has been in four World Tour tournament finals. He's never won one of them. In fact, Nishimoto has been in a total of six international tournament finals, seven if you include the World University Games in 2017. And all six or seven finals, whichever way you want to count it, he's been on the losing end of all of them. Never, never won an international title. And it's his first semi-final here in his home event prior to this year. He Very never got yeah, past yeah, the yeah, second yeah. round. Omarai, Kenta Nishimoto, Japan. And Omarai, and uh, Anderson Dema. And uh, Anderson to serve. Love for play. So the former European champion, the two time world championship medalist, Anna Zantensen, nearest to us from Denmark against Kenta Nishimoto. So the big question mark One. is whether Nishimoto Look. has got enough left in the fuel tank, enough spring in the legs after his three three game matches prior to this semi-final to reproduce the results of last week when he beat Anna Sansonson in two straight Sunny games. What? Oh. It. And that's the sort of shot when you are feeling tired, you absolutely go for the line and give yourself no margin for error. smash from Nishimoto, aimed towards the right hip of Antonsen, and it was played to perfection.
missed opportunity from Antonsen. Well, he's had his injury woes this year as Antonsen. Withdrawn from six different tournaments. Two tournaments in Indonesia, two in Malaysia and the Singapore Open and those were all due to a groin injury. Service all. Four, three. That's clever from Antonson. Hold and flick. Using the drift, sideways drift to his advantage. play in these early stages from Antonsen is absolutely commanding this rally There it is again. Well, that's at least three in the last time, half a dozen rallies where he's played the hold and flick for an outright winner. spinning net shot, forcing the error. And this is four straight points. Four. Well, there's only ever been two different players from Japan who contested the men's singles final. Obviously, Kento Momoto. Momoto was the two-time defending champion coming into this year's championships. And the other player was Kenichi Targo. Nine years ago, was in the final to Lee Chong Wei. That is all. Five, eight.
brilliant. It's one of his favourite shots, is that round the head cross court half smash. And it is so clever. He plays it so often at the right time. Gone long. Ten, five. Oh, yes, that's lovely. Six. That's crisp. Ten. Well, we haven't had an unseeded player in the men's singles final here at the Japan Open for four years. Obviously, that's only two Japan Opens ago. And it was Kosik Petrogub. Thailand reached Eight. the final and then lost Ten. to Momota. Now, the last unseeded winner, we have to go back 13 years to Bao Chun Lai when he beat Taufik Hidiat, the number four seed from Indonesia, in the final. That's ah, good backhand. And it is a three-point yeah, advantage man. for the number three seed, Anna Santonson, here at the mid-game interval. Ten minutes played. Ah, that's a super backhand. Eleven, eight, play. So the three point advantage with the number three seed. Yep. Twelve, eight. Plays that shot time and time again. either got to avoid playing it to the deep backhand corner or you've got to start looking for it looking for the cross court smash
was a strange shot from Antonsen. It was almost as if he ran out of patience. Well, he's not the one that's had three game matches all the way through to this semi-final. In fact, his match against Suniyama in the quarter-final yesterday was only 21-11, 21-12. Beautiful. What a wonderful shot from Nishimoto. Six of the last eight points to Nishimoto. Yeah, yeah that's well judged. Seven of the last nine points now to Nishimoto. Good block. My goodness, well, he put his racket up with the hope that it might make contact with the shuttle, and indeed it did, but it landed wide of the mark. Started. Yeah. the first time in this semi-final that Nishimoto has been in the lead. Great retrieving from Nishimoto. And again. Brilliant. He weathered the storm. Incredible defensive play in the early stages of that rally. And then when he got the opportunity to go on the attack, he was lethal.
six straight points. And quite clearly the longest rally at 45 shots. six points, but nine of the last 11 points. I think that's more significant. Yeah, good shot. Sorry, Saul. 13, 14. What a beautiful net shot. Hansonson just walking away from handing the shuttle back. It's a little bit naughty, in all honesty. The player who's hit the shuttle into the net is supposed to pick up the shuttle. That's the etiquette of the sport and hand it back to your opponent. was 5-10 down in this opening game. Now 17-14 up. Well, oh, the shuttle lands just long. Save us all. 15, 17. Listen. Go play. Get up.
good smash aimed towards the right hip and that was absolutely played to perfection Played by Nishimoto. That was all. 18, 16. Well, he may have been in four World Tour tournament finals, but never at this level. Two at 500, two at 300. This time. Oh, that's magnificent. He's found the line. So we call. 17 18. an opportunity and an oh. absolutely delighted that he's back level 18 all in this opening game Straight points by the number three C to go into the lead at this crucial, crucial stage. Well worked. That is brilliant from Antonsen. He was under severe pressure Brandy. in this opening game Get at 16 18 Thank down. You. And on the run of four straight points, he now has two game point opportunities.
block. Just long. Well, Anderson once again indicates that he wants the court mopped. So we thought. Now uh, doing this Thank after you. every rally. Thank you. I'm not 100% convinced that it's absolutely necessary. I think it's a chance for them to have a breather. Well, the physicality is supposed to be a big part of the challenge of our sport. Now, why on earth wasn't he ready? He was ready. Get ready. I'd love to know how long it is since the last rally. Well over a minute. Still game point, remember, for Antonsen. Brilliant defence. Missed it. Oh, he's challenging. And Anderson killing us far up. I saw that as just wide. Uh, if it wasn't, then it's only clipped the line by the nearest the margins. Now it was out. Good call, line judge. 20 all. An extra points yeah, required five, until the clear two point One, winning margin. Remaining. 20 off. Okay. Play. It's land again. What on earth was Antonson thinking about? Looks down at the line once again. But having saved two game point opportunities, now Kinta Nishimoto has a game point himself. 21, 20. Oh! Play Alex. So you don't ready. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, he knows he, you, you can't have it both ways. I mean, he looked as if he was perfectly ready on the previous point when he asked for a let. Play. Once again, indicating that he wasn't ready and then saw the shuttle fly out and said he was ready. That's going wide. And the opening game was a challenge. He's challenging. Here's Antonsen, but he won't win that challenge. Up. It was well wide. And long. Opening game to Kenta Nishimoto. 22-20, having survived two game points. What an opening game. 33 thrilling minutes.
て、ここを返してください。もう一回、そのダッパーして。普通にハーフパーして、もう一回ダッパーして。Second game. Love or play. So, an absolute thrilling opening game. 22 20 in favour of Kenta Nishimoto. Having survived two game points against him. Ah, that's nice. One. Love. Coaching bench looking a little concerned. Nice. Yeah, he's looking for that now. He's looking for that round the head cross court. Another one drifts wide and long. Three. Oh, she's on the right as we're looking at them. Let's go in Nakanishi. The other coach. Oh, slip there. Yeah, it seems to be okay. There's the angle again. Well, the lift from Nishimoto was simply not deep enough. And that's why he was able to play the winner, Antonsen. Playing a deep low serve. Two, so, three. Antonsen is obviously concerned about the quality of the returns, the next shot returns from Nishimoto. And even that was played way back from the net. Further you are from the net, more difficult it is to play an accurate net shot.
Michael Gould. Three, four. Yeah, there's another deep low serve. Uh, nowhere near the front service line. Yeah. I think it's a very clever Sorry, serve. Four. Because four. then opponents can't Three. play the tight spinning neck shot. More likelihood of them lifting the shuttle. That, to me, is a bit of a sign of Hansenson at the moment in a bit of a panic. Trying to play an outright winner on the return of serve. Needs to recompose his thoughts. That's well taken. Seven. Three. Yeah, very well taken. Well, Anton some points, as if to ask the umpire, did he not take that before it crossed the net? Well, we could see that he clearly hadn't. It was perfectly legal from Nishimoto. This is a very, very commanding lead. Eight, three. Five point advantage for Kenta Nishimoto. just felt that one we got the grip had got a little bit sodden with perspiration and therefore he wanted a, a racket with a dry grip Wide. Well, he's challenging his Nishimoto. I saw that as wide. Here we go. Indeed, it was. Challenge and successful. One challenge just remaining.
Cyrus Orb. Four, nine, play. Long to the mid game interval, and Kenton Ishimoto is looking in a very, very commanding position. 11 4 up in the second game, having already won the first. Antonsen in big trouble. Eleven four play. So what can Antonson do? Yeah. Well he really attacked that Seven low serve. Five. And that's certainly a good Eleven. start to try and turn this match around. And this server? No check. Well, the psychology of him running to the net to pick up the shuttle is obviously trying to send a message to his opponent that he's still got plenty of running in him. Whether that's the reality or not, I'm not quite sure. Just wide. Seven, eleven. So three points since the mid-game interval, and all three points, the number three seed, Antonsen. Ah, that's lovely, the skies on the drop shot there from Nishimoto. Sorry, Paul. Twelve, seven.
block. Yeah, he is looking for that cross court one now, Nishimoto. Service of eight, twelve. Well left. Time is on. Target eight. A lovely idea. I'm not sure Antonson was ready for that cross court one. Not he didn't need to be in the end. Oh, it's come back in. Anders, Anderson, well, Anders. it's called wide. Oh, oh. I think it may have come back in. Antonsen certainly thinks so. That's why he's challenging. Sideways drift really is causing a, quite a few problems. Oh, it's wide by a whisker. What a good call by the line judge. Challenge, answer the call. One challenge remaining. So they both only Sorry have one call. challenge left in this second game. 14, nine. Play. <laughs> well, what's wrong That's with that? It, you're not allowed to hit it. Okay. When he's ready, you get ready to see, okay? Yeah, yeah but... but up before okay. serves. I was doing this and then he served. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, mustn't yeah. move. If you move and hit the shuttle, it's deemed to have been ready. Well, that is just extraordinary. The rules are quite clear. If you move, if, if you're not ready, you've got to stand absolutely still and you must never hit the shuttle. Well, that's clearly... A violation of the rules. The rules not enforced by our umpire, sadly. a big point. Threaded it down the line. Eleven, forty. Longest rally of this second game. Well, in all honesty, I'm, I'm still absolutely bewildered. It was one of the first rules that I was taught by my very first coach. Because if you move and hit the shuttle, it, you, it's deemed to be ready. Because otherwise a player could go back, hit the shuttle, make a mistake and say, oh, I wasn't ready. 
play the point again. It's nonsense. Yeah, good net shot. Ciao. Parking. Well, that serving incident happened at 14-9. Uh, my opinion, it should have been 15-9, instead of which, here we are, 12-14. Really, is no point having rules if we're not going to enforce them. Parking. Parking. Four straight points to Antonsen. And back level. Five-point deficit has been closed, and it all started when Antonsen moved and hit the flick serve and then claimed he wasn't ready. Oh, he touched the net there. Ishimoto touched the net. What on earth is going on in this match? Fifteen, fourteen. Well, the fault wasn't called, but I'm convinced that Nishimoto half demolished the net. Six straight points for Antonsen. Landed in seven straight points from for Antonson. Fifteen, fourteen. Been seven straight points. Time is off. 15, 15. And then, on court. You know, Anderson's really taking his time. No, you should have left that. That was going wide. Sorry, Saul. And having looked on top of this second game, Nishimoto now looks dispirited. I really think players need to be backed up by officials that enforce the rules. Well, unless the rules have changed, uh, of course, and I'm uh, totally unaware of it. But oh, calls on Antonson. Okay. That's good umpiring. That was a fault. 17. That's why. 
track level. 17 all. Seventeen off. It's gone long. Eighteen, seventeen. Get up there. Two more. Okay, Brian. Got it. Well, I, I just don't get it. Why is he not ready? No kids. Captain Rocky. He was standing there ready and then says I'm not ready. Brilliant from Nicky Moto. Yeah, clearly in. Mikey, there were two points away from a first ever final at 750 level. Anderson, warning for misconduct, delay. Yeah, you have to go to I'm with the umpire on that. Well, if you don't put your head up earlier, then you're delaying. And the umpire's given you a warning for delay. Oh, that was going wide. That's okay. spirit within the rally from Kenta Nishimoto three match point opportunities for Nishimoto well, I can tell you that Anna's Antonson is now retying shoelaces. Well, it was a good length rally. It was 35 shots.
20, match point, 73 match point opportunities for Nishimoto. Set for call, too high. Service over. 18, 20. Service fault was called. Yeah. Now, uh, in fact, we can see that no, quite no, no. clearly that Antonsen put his hand up to yeah, say, please. wait. No, no, no. no, no. Well, you did, but you, you, you can only ask for the tournament referee on a point of law, not on the decision that the umpire's making. If the umpire didn't spot that Antonsen had raised his hand to stop the serve. <laughs> My goodness, what a miss by Nishimoto. Oh, that was going wide. Oh, it was a challenge here. It was called in. Nishimoto is desperately hoping it was out. But it wasn't a fast falling shuttle. Um, the line judge should have this right. But it doesn't, it's out. And the match to Kenta Nishimoto. What a great challenge. 21-19, the second game, having won the first 22-20. A match lasting an hour and nine minutes. And Kenta Nishimoto through to his first ever final at Super 750 level. It will be his seventh international tournament final on the BWF World Tours. And tomorrow he will be looking to win his first ever title. Well, what a match. Some great badminton but full of controversy. Well, Nishimoto is only match not to go to three games, the semi-final against Antonsen. The delight for Nishimoto. And the confirmation of that scoreline once again. 22-20, 21-19, and Nishimoto through to the final, beating Anna's Antonsen of Denmark. There is the confirmation, and we look forward to our next match, which will be women's singles. It'll be a battle of the World Championship bronze medalists in the women's singles coming up next.
Welcome back to semi-final Saturday here in Osaka. Semi-finals day at the Daihatsu Yonex Japan Open for 2022. Well, what matches we've had so far. And there's still two more to come. Our next match is the battle of the women's singles bronze medalists from the last World Championships a week ago in Tokyo. Anse Young against Tai Su Ying.